This is the Mini Cooper JCW, and in this video I will be reviewing it. But first of all, my name is Ethan, and welcome to Car Creations. This car has 134 horsepower and 162 pounds feet of torque. This car has almost 100 horsepower difference, and this car makes 228 horsepower with 236 pound feet of torque. Oh my goodness, what is this thing? Oh, those so NSX. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Sport mode sounds amazing because when you put it in sport mode it opens up the exhaust and you get some crazy crackles and the engine pops into life, the suspension hardens and you suddenly feel like you're driving a little sports car. So I would argue that a car like this is a lot better on a road such as this than a supercar because supercar you just get too fast whereas this car you can go up and down throughout the gears and still have an amazing amount of fun and most hot hatches I would say are like this So what is this car? Well, I would say it's usable, but it's pretty fun. It's practical, but it isn't overstated at the same time. So, a lot of people would say, just why don't you get a Golf? Where, for me, a Golf doesn't quite do it for me because I feel like the Golf doesn't have as much character as this car. This car, it's peppy, it's a little bit quirky, when people look at you, you they, they know that you're driving a Mini. And I think it's like one of those Marmite things where you either love it or hate it. And Mini has tried really hard to make a unique car. And as a result of this, people will hate it. But at the same time, a lot of people love it. And I'm definitely one of those people. Look at these corners. button on a fob that you can open and close the exhaust to make it louder. 
and this car currently isn't fitted with it. And I couldn't imagine if I fit it with that. This car would sound absolutely amazing. So while Mercedes and Volkswagen and Audi all offer something similar, with similar horsepower and probably even a little bit faster, I think I would still go with this car because the base version is actually, is actually cheaper. But also this car offers a whole lot more character than those cars. When you see other minis on the road, it's almost like you're in a little club and you'll give each other a little wave. But you'll notice when other mini drivers see this car, it's something special in there. You can see a little bit of envy in their eyes. They're kind of like, ooh, I like that car. There's actually a ton of space, so we open up the back here. We have a small spot here to put some luggage. However, if you fold up this, you can even fit another half in there. But however, if you go on a long journey, you fold on the seats, and you can actually fit an amazing amount of stuff in here. I actually moved across the entire country of Canada in this car. Desk and everything, with just these seats folded down. You can also take out this little folder here. Yeah. So this car has literally every option possible except for the heads up display. So it comes in with the full nine inch screen. Uh, you have your Apple CarPlay, which is actually amazing. You, now you can get maps such as Waze and Spotify and all that type of stuff. Uh, through your entertainment system, you can connect to your car using Mini Connected. And with Mini Connected, you can have your car already heating up or cooling down for you before you get in the car. Uh, it has dual climate zone controls, so your passenger can have heat at 28 degrees Celsius and then you can have your air conditioning on at 19. Stops a lot of arguments. Uh, you have heated seats as standard, uh, traction control, um, you can have start stop, you can turn that off or on. Uh, this car has automatic windshield wipers, you just click this and when it senses rain on the windshield it will turn them on. And also has automatic headlight dimming so when you have your brights on and it spots a car coming towards it, it will automatically turn off one, one of the beams and that way you don't have to worry about turning on and off your high beams. If you come take a look over here, this has a four cylinder, two liter, twin powered turbo engine. Uh, it's kind of cool because the headlights have a little cutout so it fits around the headlights when it comes down. And there's a dip. Ooh. Lint sheet left over for when I stored it in the wintertime to stop mice. So, one of my favorite features about this car is actually these headlights. I love how the LED light goes all the way around, it simply looks amazing. So, one of the things that bothers me is how this piece of plastic is fake. This vent doesn't go anywhere. Whereas you go and look on this side, it actually does something because this is where it sucks in the air for the turbo. I think they should have both open because when you look from far away, it actually kind of looks kind of weird now when you see that.
One of the best things about this car is that it always puts a smile on your face. And who wouldn't want a smile on their face? So that's what I'm going to go do right now. I'm going to go put some more smiles on my face as I drive home. Hope you all have had an amazing day. And if you like this video, please like it. And if you really liked it, please make sure to subscribe for plenty more content to come. I think he just left me. Oh wait, here he comes.